see these? These are all of the bills that came to my house last I month. Hate that. Yes, all of these. You want to see the bills that came to my house last no, month? No, nothing came to your house. Nothing. Nothing at all. That's right. And Leo is here to talk about why he doesn't get any bills to his house. And it's because he uses a service called Paytrust. It's called Paytrust.com. And it allows you to no longer deal with this. <laughs> I love that. No more bills. Plus, you feel like a rich person because you got somebody <laughs> doing your bills for you. Really? Doesn't that make you feel like, you know, it's like I have a person that does that. Oh, someone does that. Somebody does that. For somebody me. does that for me. Yeah, well, I'm going to show you at home how you can experience the same feeling of joy. You go to Paytrust.com, and you can read all the information here. So if you miss something, make sure you read all the details because it is a huge thing that you're dealing with. You really have to trust that this company is right. going to pay your bills. And you have to pay them, too. It's 15 bucks a month. It's not free. Yeah, yeah, you have to pay them. Let's talk about pricing. You go to Paytrust.com, and let's talk about pricing here. We see that there's a couple different plans that you can choose from. 13 bucks a month. Okay. So, um, That's what I do, the flat fee. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to pay for every transaction. Well, I have at least 30 transactions. You do? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, why yeah. Do you, oh, so many Lots people. of bills. Lots of bills. Are you in the mafia or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the payment plan. So basically what you do is you sign up with them and you give them your account number, the account that you want to pay the bills through, and you change your addresses on all the different bills, and the bills are sent directly to them. They scan yeah. all the bills. They'll write you a letter for it, which is nice. You can just, uh, when you fill in your stuff on the site, they'll mm -hmm. say, would you like to send us a letter, uh, us to send a letter to your bill? Uh -huh. And most billers will accept that and start billing the other address. Some billers say, no, you have to set, call us or tell mm -hmm. us. So, Which makes sense. Yeah. Because they don't want someone. Right. My, all my bills go to you. North Dakota. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So what about <laughs> when you want to sign up for a credit card or something like that? Well, and that's and you're right. That's another issue because a lot of times when you buy something with a credit card, mm -hmm. they say, "Is this what's your address? And unless you want to give them have everything shipped to South Dakota, right. <laughs> you have to oh, right. either call the credit card number right. and tell them I have two addresses, uh -huh. often that expires, or I, this is what I do, I keep one credit card in my home address you that the bill that. still comes to me. All right. And uh, actually I use one that has online billing, so I still don't get a bill. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, there are a bunch of differences between this and online billing, and all of those are on the website, so you got to check those yeah. out. The biggest difference is you don't get these. Right. Online billing, you tend to get the bills, and it's right. your responsibility to figure out exactly. when to pay them. Right, and this also gives you notifications, and allows you to approve certain payments and well, that's things nice like thing. that. Right? I can just say whenever my mortgage comes, pay it because I have to pay that. Right. You know, right. so just pay it automatically. Right. You can also say if a bill is under a certain amount, pay it. Mm -hmm. And if it's over a certain amount, I want to know about it. Right. Things or like just that. pay the minimum balance. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. So cool. So this is, this what is an actual like. bill. This is what your bill details are going to look like. And um, well, scan it in. So right. it looks just like the bill you did. Exactly like the bill. This is not Leo's account, so don't get too excited. I do and not live in <laughs> so you can, again, you can tell it to, yes, automatically go ahead and pay this bill every month or you can change the details of how you want to pay the bill. This is how your bill inbox looks. It's kind of like an email box and it's going to tell you what you've got coming in, what you've got going out and you can approve it. You can look into more details about it or you can go ahead and file it away. So you cool. know what's the best part is when it's bill pay day, you just go check, 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 pay. Done. So nice. And another thing that I love about this is you can pay people that don't accept online payment services. Like Anybody. I can pay Leo. Right. I can adjust, make it so that I want to send you a payment for 20 bucks. They will go ahead, cut a check, send it to you, and we're done. I think that's one thing people don't, uh, kind of one of the dirty little secrets of online, of all kinds of online bill paying, is that in most cases, whether your bank's doing it or pay trust, they're actually printing a check, right. putting it in an envelope, putting a stamp on it, and mailing it. That's we so aren't cool. to the stage yet where people accept electronic funds transfers. Right. There are a few, there. a few, yeah, a few of my uh, billers will, in fact, It'll go automatically, and that's pretty cool because then mm -hmm. it's instantaneous. The other thing I like about Paytrust is, and they just changed this, they don't debit your account until the check hey. is cashed. So you, it, a lot of times the bank mm -hmm. will immediately debit your account. Right. Uh, even though there'll be another three or four days before the bill arrives uh -huh. at the biller's address. Right. That's cool. Yeah. I love it. And then what you can do is... Um, Ask at the end of the year that you receive a CD, a CD-ROM that's going to have all of your bills scanned into it and tell you the status and everything that you paid. So tax time must be so much easier. It's great. For you. I do that every year. I get the CD. Plus, you know, then you have a record instead of having a shoeboxes full of <laughs> old bills. I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little harder to search through them and that kind of thing. But you can also, as you can see, you can also see an archive of previous payments and, and take it right off the screen. That right. Way. It's awesome. Pay trust. Yeah. Do you know anything else like it? Uh, they, well, this was, uh, I actually started with Pay My Bills, mm -hmm. and they were bought by Paytrust, and they've been absorbed. And I think Paytrust, there's Yahoo Bill Pay, many banks have Bill Pay, but this is the one that does it all for me. And I really like this one the best. Cool. Yeah. All right, so why don't you check it out? If Leo likes it, you know, it has to be good. good the details are on our website. The address is techtv.com.
slash call for help. Send me emails, cat at techtv.com. How do you pay your bills? It's a really good way, too, when you don't have enough, you know, the, the month is longer than the paycheck. Yeah. Yeah, when you run out of, you know, month. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a really good way to kind of manage that, too. And you can say, well, pay this one in 10 days. But, right. And you don't forget. Because right. I used to stick stuff in the back and forget it. Right. That's and what this is that's for. That's not good. <laughs>